Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about improving. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, why do so many software developers struggle to improve their skills? <clears throat> well, I find that they usually do improve their, their skills if they try. Never seen that not happen. There, on the other hand, I've seen quite a lot of software developers who get complacent, lazy, and stop trying to improve, because improving is actually very simple. You just have to put in the hours and make them quality hours and not be stupid about how the learning process works. Committed, focused learning is effective when learning something doing something sort of for a few minutes while the TV is running and you know you're sort of drifting off in thought and you're sort of like you, you read about things and you're thinking about other stuff that is not relevant to the thing that you're reading that's not going to do much because just because your eyes is um, moving across the text and you are reading out the words without letting them stick well, that's not learning. That's you just processing. And without retention or reflection or, like, and as I like to say, experimentation and dabbling and like actually practicing the thing that you are l learning about, you're never going to remember it. It's sort of, uh, I've always found it hilarious, these. Uh, you know, I learn how to study m videos and things like that, where almost always the the methods, like the core methods, are related to the fact that people need to understand how they actually learn something. And to me, it is amazing that that is not something that you figure out by yourself, because if you've ever tried to learn any skill even if it's such a simple thing as riding a bicycle you will know that any skill regardless of what it is requires practice hands-on fa actual practice and focused attention until you get over the first hump where I like to say that there is this like you know, you know, you have to spend. You know, when people ask me how much time do I have to spend on software development or w whichever skill, and I go, it depends on you. It, the question isn't how much time. The question is, are you willing to spend the time necessary? Because uh, once again, as with the bicycle, some people learn to ride the bike very quickly, like they're gifted or something like that, and that means that they're going to be able to ride it within maybe a day or two. Some people have to tr practice for longer, and it doesn't really matter because once you get to the point where you know how it works and you feel comfortable doing it after that well then the old saying like hard work is better than talent usually kicks in like there are absolutely people who are extraordinarily talented but for the most part you've reached that point where you're sort of you've sort of learned that skill and if you think about it then anything that you know how to do which is not inherent to the human experience you've already done that when your parents taught you how to sit on the toilet by yourself it's the same deal in the beginning it was really tough probably and scary and all these things but exposure and practice then now well hopefully most of you are accurate enough to hit the bowl or whatever you're using for toilet purposes uh, and so the struggle to improve is, in my opinion, it's always down to complacency. I had an interview just the other day with a guy who had been working as a software developer for 20 years, something like that. And the uh, we went through his code test with him. And he had been using, like, uh, he had pulled in some libraries, and I thought I had a few questions around uh, one of the libraries that he was using, though, which was related to network calls and things like that. And so I asked him, "Oh, you're using this this library here instead of just using Fetch, um, because it was a JavaScript application, right? Uh, why did you do that?" 
then he just looked at me and said, well, uh, yeah, because, uh, and then he couldn't really answer me. I said, but you do know what this library does, right? Well, no, I don't really know, actually. That sounds really bad. I know, and I'm like, is this guy serious? Yeah, but I read in an article that this is very associated with this tech stack, and I'm like, but surely you, you, you checked the documentation for this library before you used it. No, I didn't really do that. Okay, so you have a library in your application that is supposed to do something and you don't know what it does, but you still added it. Let's just say, guys, that he did not get the job. Because this is an example of what I'm talking about. This person is not interested in being a better software developer. He's not interested in learning how to do a good job. No sane person would cons would do something like that. And he's been working for 20 years. And so that's why I tell people that you have about all you can hope for in an average software developer after the first five years. Because that is how long it will take for the average software developer to reach a point where they're able to just produce code. Because this guy, I mean, he had written a code test. We, it wasn't the best code test in the world, but he had produced it. And I mean, it's, well, there was a few, uh, a few things that I wasn't super impressed with and so forth. But it was code and he had a job and he had been working for 20 years, apparently. And I mean, I don't have any reason to question that he has worked for 20 years. So he's been able to maintain like employment. But as I told my manager when we interviewed him after we had in done the interview, I said, it's very simple. He has reached his peak. Well, uh, he did for a long, a long time back. It's uh, he's never gonna probably get higher than this because he has no genuine interest to go higher than this. And sure, he's probably gonna. Say, I mean, he is what I call the eternal consultant because he's he lacks the personal motivation to improve to the point where he could go higher. And we can't, you know, in the specific scenario, we can't use such a person. I mean, there are certainly many companies who don't really have any understanding whatsoever and that's probably how he gets by he works for com for these uh, based on his cv i could see that he works for companies who don't really know what software development looks like they have like systems but they don't actually have any quality requirements or anything like that and so there is work for that level of skill or like that level of uh, work right and they're probably considering that he works had worked for ten, uh, 20 years they're probably overpaying him in an enormous amount because his skills are not he has not progressed his skills uh, since the first as I said like he, he I have junior level developers who are better at this than he was and so that's why I tell people improving is not about you know years it is about committing and really wanting to improve. It's all about your personal drive. And I will take, and I say this to everybody, there is, I've never seen a correlation between things like how, what education background do you have? Did you go, did, are you self-taught or are you a, you know, a, like a master's degree student or anything like that? I think Elon Musk said something that I th which I actually said that too. I don't know who said it first, but he's more famous, so let's just say that he said it first. Uh, he said that people mistake uh, education for intelligence, because you can be have a bachelor's degree and still be an idiot. And that is exactly how I view things as well. Uh, in, there's a difference between IQ, or, or being book smart, or things like that, and being intelligent, in my point, point of view. Intelligence is the thing that dictates how well you do in the world and how well you reason and so forth. Uh, IQ and book smarting is like the fact that you can memorize the things usually. Well, not the IQ specifically, but being book smart and so forth. So you, you can pass a grade, you can have high education, but that doesn't make you a good, you know, an intelligent person. So what I want you to take away from this is that I've never found the people who are genuinely interesting in improving having a hard time to do that the thing that usually stops people from improving is that they get complacent they 
uh, don't actually want to go any further. I mean, this guy that I was interviewing, he, he drew, every single person I've ever talked to who has subpar skills say the same thing. Oh, I didn't have time to do a better job. Well, that's funny because the junior developer that I hired the day before you, who had a better code test and a better interview than you, he seemed to have the time. And it's the poor, it's the poor man's way of uh, making excuses for the fact that you are not interested in being more than you are usually. And sure, you can uh, make the argument that uh, anybody can learn and so forth. And I truly believe that that is true. Anybody can learn, anybody can improve. And if you're struggling to improve, that's well, that's part of it, but I've never found anyone who genuinely sticks to something and knows how to commit to actually learning and actually f make sure that they're interested in learning something, because that's the thing that I find to be probably the most telling. Uh, I've had the same thing when I went, in, went to school, for example. If you're trying to learn something you're not interested in, it's going to take forever, if it's, not, if it's even possible. Uh, some stuff, stuff for sure, but uh, you know something like software development that is this complicated and requires this much effort to learn and takes a long time to get good at. Well, it's going to be very difficult if you don't want to learn it or if you're not interested whatsoever. So that's why I tell people the first five years are usually where most software developers stay in their development and then anybody who improves above that, which are the best of the best usually, they are continuously improving because they're genuinely interested. And there is no correlation I've ever seen between years of experience necessarily, or education and things like that, and skill. It all comes down to personal drive every single time. Have a great day.